Now then, Mackie 69 are here. Boom! How are you diddling? So today, I'm going to talk about should the British taxpayer pay for the Queen's refurb of the palace? 360 odd million or something fucking mad it is. And no, she fucking shouldn't get it. Well, not in my opinion anyway. And it's my YouTube video. So, what I say goes, especially on this video anyway. Now, what about the Queen, who is a fucking trillionaire? Absolute fucking trillionaire. She could end world hunger about 20 times over and still live like the fucking Queen. She doesn't have to pay for anything. She doesn't carry money. But normal people have to pay for this apparently. And it's been all over my Facebook over the last few days. People have started petitions so the taxpayer doesn't have to pay for this fucking refurb. You've got people saying, oh yes, we should pay for it. Um, despite the fact she's a trillionaire, she brings so much to the country and tourism, blah, blah, blah. Look at the state of the fucking country at the moment. The NHS is getting bought out by fucking Richard Branson. It's funny that the same people who are saying, oh yes, let, let's pay for this for the Queen, we love her, blah, blah, blah. The same people who voted remain for Brexit and then threw a fucking fanny fit when it, the result came out and we had voted to leave they started petitions to have another referendum they started petitions to just fuck it off and it's also the same people who booted off that Donald Trump became the fucking president What is it that ties these three things to these weird, fucked up people? I mean, I know there were organised riots, but there were still fucking riots in, in America. Because the vote didn't go the way. Fucking, like say Brexit over here, people were fucking crying and shit over that. And some people are also saying that we should pay for it because it's a historic building or something. It's a fucking palace built for a royal family. Would you be happy paying for the House of Commons to be fucking done out? Because that's a historic thing. Fuck that. I mean, I, I can see it from, from both sides, but I, I just don't think that you should have to fucking pay for it. I mean, especially when the NHS is on its ass. Like I say, it's just the same people who were fucking moaning about Brexit, about Donald Trump. Really don't understand their arguments for it. I mean, there'll be someone who watches this video, so fucking let me know in the comments why you think we should be fucking paying for it. I just literally don't understand. I mean, people aren't happy that their tax goes towards dole for people who are on Jeremy Kyle and fucking, you know, the little scunners, everyone knows them, who somehow live better than you, they're decked out in the best gear and fucking going out four times a week when you can go out once a month at a push and they don't seem to have a care in the world. And like, you don't want to be paying for them and their drugs and their fucking booze and, and shit like that. And, you know, you're not happy paying about, well, you fucking are actually, you Brexit lovers. Um, for immig immigrants to come over, you're not happy to uh, pay for Abdul and fucking Sanjay and shit. But you're happy to pay for the Queen. Oh, like I say, it's a fucking trillionaire, man. I, I don't even see how it's even in question. And I saw someone say, um, in one of the arguments for doing it, is that she pays so much towards... 
she gives so much money to government or something, so she pays taxes as well, so she's paying for it herself. So fuck, if, if I had a house, because I pay uh, tax, are you guys going to chip in and, and repair my house for me? No, you fucking not. I wonder what exactly needs refurbing in the palace. I mean, there's how many fucking bedrooms, there'll be a fucking cinema in there, swimming pool, gym. So what the, what the fuck are we paying for? If they come out and they're clear about exactly what we're paying for, then they might get more, more sympathy. Ah, sympathy, oh yeah. Uh, one needs uh, the gym redoing. What exactly are they going to be fucking paying for? It's going to happen, of course it is. The petitions will, will go on deaf ears. It doesn't really fucking matter. It's just, I just don't get it, man. I mean, what are we fucking paying for? If she can't keep up with the refurb, why don't you move into a smaller house? There's plenty of council houses and shit about that, you know, she can, she can get. Just go in one of them. Okay, now. I'm just positive that the 360 odd million or whatever it is could be spent better. It could be spent on kids, NHS, even fucking preparing like places for flooding and shit like that, that we have every year and we never get on top of the same places, the same shit every year. Spend the fucking money on that, on flood prevention. Schools, like I say, just anything but a fucking palace refurb. Fucking hell. Just get that fucking Lawrence Llewellyn Bowen or whatever he's called and he'll fucking do it or something like 60 minute makeover and shit, man. There's no need for the taxpayers to be paying for it, is it really? I just don't fucking understand. I mean, I don't even see why the fuck we even need our old family anymore. Never mind a fucking palace to fucking pay for with the council, with the fucking with our taxes, it just uh, infuriates me and a lot of other people, as you can tell. But anyway, never mind. You'll probably disagree with me or whatever, but fuck it. It's my video, make your own video, or fuck off. But leave a, a comment to tell me how much of a dickhead I am. Okay, see you later.